Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist and I'm back again with another very exciting and very informative tutorial. So, if you're new to this channel, I share videos about geology, mining engineering, GIS and geoscience in general. If this is your first time on the channel and this is something that you've been looking for, make sure to hit that subscribe button. In this video, we are jumping back to ChatGPT. But if you have been following the channel, you know that I've already covered that in the past. But I promise you guys that this is not going to be the same thing. We're going to see something totally different. And I promise you it is something very useful. And if you stick to the end of the video, I'm going to show you how you can scale what I'm about to show you today to another level. So last week, OpenAI supercharged ChatGPT with some amazing features, and it might be nearly impossible for me to cover all of these in just one video. So here is what I will do. So I'm going to cover each one of these features in a separate video, and I'm going to show you how you can use that as a geoscientist, because basically you can go to OpenAI's website and check these features yourself. But applying them to a geoscience, that's totally different, and that's why I'm here. So the first feature that we're going to see today is basic, basically the vision feature or what they call the vision capability of ChatGPT. So as the name suggests, ChatGPT is now able to see images the way we see them. So basically, if you send a picture of a dog to ChatGPT and ask it what's in the picture, it's going to tell you that there's a dog and might give you some descriptions about the images. About the image like a detailed description like the dog is red or whatever. Now some of you might be asking now how can sending a dog's image to ChatGPT is going to help me as a geoscientist? Well if you think out of the box there's plenty of ways that you can use this feature to your benefit. So I'm going to show you a really cool example and a simple one that you can uh, use this feature. So I'm going to jump to this folder and I have a silly picture of a log that I've done really quickly just for the sake of this tutorial. And you can see that I call that even though it is a log, but let's say that this is maybe uh, like for a drill hole and it's called DH1. And you can see that we have like the different intervals, like from 0 to 10, we have marl. From 10 to 25, we have clay. From 25 to 36, we have dolomite and so on. Even though that this is not something that I've used the computer, like you can see that this is basically my bad hand uh, writings. So let's see if ChatGPT is going to be able to recognize that and helping us creating a table automatically. So let's go and test that out. So I'm going to drag and drop this one inside the chat and I'm going to ask ChatGPT, can you give me the... Uh, different lithologies in the uh, log and their from and to depths in a table. Let's see if ChatGPT is going to be able to pick that out for me. So let's hit enter and wait for ChatGPT to do that. So I'm going to get back to you guys when ChatGPT is going to do that and it should take like a few seconds. As you can see guys in real time ChatGPT is now actually writing that for me and you can see more from 0 to 10, uh, clay from 10 to 25, 25 to 36, 36 to and it matches perfectly this and you can see it was able to pick like the different lithologies and this is by itself really cool so I can take this even further and ask ChatGPT to give me a CSV table instead can you give me a CSV uh, table instead and ChatGPT will be able to compile that information into a CSV file and give me a download link that I can use and that's going to save me a lot of time. Now the question is, what if we have, let's say, thousands of these pictures or logs? Do we need to like copy and paste 
like each one of the each one of these images to chat GPT in the chat here and then wait for the different tables and then go and combine all of these table in just one table that's no that's not what you will need to do because one of the features that they've added to chat GPT in the past week is like making uh, or adding the ability to use all of these features and uh, capabilities from their API. So you will be able, if you know a bit of coding, like Python, for example, you will be able to do what you've just done in the chat here, but through your Python code. So basically what you can do, you can create like a for loop, that will go through all the different pages of a PDF file, extract the images, and send the images through the API, get the information, and save them as a CSV file. And actually, that's exactly what I did. And let me show you how I did that. So you can see that I've got this one, this uh, code in here. It's basically, um, I'm using my API code in here, so you cannot use that because I'm going to delete that after this video. I'm extracting different images from uh, a PDF file. I call that geology log. So if I go to here, you can see that I've got this one here. So uh, basically, if I run this one, it's going to extract the images in this folder. So and then, uh, by the way, if I look at this one, you can see it's the same image here or the same uh, log. Let's go and run this one and see how it works. So if you go to cell, run all and I will be waiting for the results in here. So the first thing that should appear here, you can see that the tool was able to extract the images, I mean like the, the pages and convert these as images. So this is going to be the page one. But if you have, let, let's say, a thousand uh, page on that, in that document is going to have like page one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And then uh, it's going to upload that through the API, get the information, and convert that to a CSV file. So let's wait and see if that's going to uh, work for us. So I'm going to pause the video and show you the results. Well, that was really quickly. Uh, it took like just a few seconds. And so let's go and take a look at the geology.csv file. And you can see that. I've got the drill hole name, which is DH1. I've got the from, to, and lithology. And I've asked it also in the uh, script to calculate the thickness automatically. So what I wanted to say with this one is that you can add any like mathematical operation that you want that to happen in the background. Like, I don't know, like maybe you want to highlight some grades or you want to convert like the uh, low detection limits to like half of the detection limits in like uh, assay tables or stuff like that. You can actually ask ChatGPT to do that on the fly and you will have a ready file, ready to use CSV file or whatever file that you are dealing with. So this was the first feature. There will be other features that we'll be covering and I'm going to show you how you can scale these to another level. And with that being said, I hope this tutorial was very informative for you guys. And for people who stuck to the end of the video, I'm going to be leaving the code in the Patreon page. So if you're a Patreon, you'll have access to the code that I've just showed you. And so see you in the next video. Check the links, leave.